god. journey here. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jacob. This is my YouTube channel, Life Outdoors. This is kind of kind of a special adventure. I am headed out to Breckenridge, Colorado to meet up with Frank Rocks, the videographer for the Angler Tour 2. So he actually invited me out to Breckenridge. I was like, okay, well I can either A, fly out there, boring, lame, waste of money, you know, or I could B, drive out there which honestly costs a little more money, but I can leave a little early and fish somewhere cool. So I decided that I was going to leave a couple days early and actually come to Ogallala Reservoir in Nebraska. We've got about six, seven hours left in the drive. I already have 11 hours behind me. And man, just cannot wait to get out to some new water, some unexplored water. Hopefully get some fish on camera for you guys and then definitely show you guys an awesome time at Breckenridge. So make sure you stick around. This video should be a banger. Thanks guys. Beautiful Nebraska. Welcome to Nebraska. We are on the Ogallala Lake tailwaters. So this is the North Platte River right here, right where it comes out of Ogallala. I called up the fisheries guy here. He said they stocked tiger trout. There's rainbow trout in here. There's some browns. So I figured, what the heck, I might as well make a day out of it and, and come out here early and give this beautiful location a shot. It's cold right now. It's 20 out. It doesn't feel like 20, but I'm sure my guides will freeze up like it's 20. I have the little, little three weight with me today. Could be a massive mistake because the state record rainbow actually came out of this area of Nebraska. So I could be totally screwed if I hook into a big fish, but hey, it's all gonna be worth it because what's more fun than fishing a three weight for big fish? I mean, I'm just so stoked to get out there. I'm gonna strap up the GoPro. Really gonna try and do a proper job filming this whole adventure. So, what do you say we get on the water?
big hit. Whoa. Whoa, we just got smoked. We're fishing here, y'all. guys trout in the net holy crap <laughs> this is my first ever nebraska rainbow beautiful fish perfect colors a nice healthy thick little rainbow trout could not be happier with that fish all right we're gonna go ahead and fish back in That was fish number one. Definitely looking for more fish, but it feels really good to finally get one. Get a little confidence. Saw a bobber go down, set the hook, caught a fish. Time to get another. And that was on 6X, so 3.5 pound test. So I went really light line, hoping that I could trick these fish. So I might switch to two nymphs. I'm gonna fish this a little longer. If I don't get anything else, then we'll switch it up, see what happens. So pumped. number two another stocky little rainbow trout second fish guys we got to figure it out now beautiful little rainbow trout so pretty we're gonna get this fish back in get some more I just want to show you guys the two flies I'm using I've got a little Copper John and then almost like a mop fly sort of deal. Just two heavy beaded flies to try and get them down fast enough. All right, guys, this is a better fish. Definitely a better fish. Just sitting in the current. God. Ooh. I have 3.5 pound test on. So light, so light. Oh God, I'm having a heart attack. I feel terrible. God, if he jumps and he's huge. Oh my God, it's a big fish. Oh my God, it's a big fish. Oh my God, it's a really big fish. Oh my God, it's a huge fish. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's a really big fish. No, it's a massive rainbow. What? Oh my 
my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my guys the absolute biggest rainbow of my freaking life that's a tank that is a tank oh my god I don't even know what to say I want to get this fish back in though I want it to be healthy and swim off look at that fish an absolute giant. Keep going. Off she goes. Oh! Oh, I can't feel my hands. I don't even know what's happening right now. I can't feel my hands. I went in the water, kind of. I am literally speechless. By far the biggest rainbow I've ever caught in my life. An absolute tank. What just happened? rainbow as I was stripping the nymph back in came up and ate it right through the nose Just a little guy. I'm gonna get him back in real quick. Whoa. Another nice fish. Oh, 
All right, so I was just thinking to myself, like, where should I move to next? What should I fish next? And then I just realized, I'm not gonna top that fish in the next 40 minutes of light that I have. The only thing that can happen would be bad things. So, with that being said, I'm going to bow out. To think that yesterday I was in Ohio, packing up the Jeep, coming out here on a whim. I didn't even know anything about this spot. It just looked good on a map. I knew it held really big rainbow trout. I didn't know how big, but my God, what a, uh, what a special fish that was. I kind of just totally panicked when I caught it, honestly. Like, I didn't measure it. I didn't get any great pictures with it. I sort of freaked out, which is very unlike me. I've caught a lot of cool fish in my, in my short life, thankfully. Normally I handle it pretty well, but that time it just, I don't know. I was just not ready to catch a fish of that caliber, I suppose. Could not be happier with how that ended up going. Such a special fish, I'm never gonna forget that. On my three weight too. It ate a little copper john on my three weight rod. Sometimes it just works out the way you want it to, or better actually. I would say that was better than I could have expected. I think I caught seven or so trout. So seven, seven fish and then one of them was an absolute tank. I'm so thankful, thankful that I got here safely. You know that I have the opportunity to come out here and fish this place. This is a special little area. So that's gonna be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Man, what an awesome little out of nowhere crazy trip that ended up working out better than expected. All right, I will see you guys on the next upload.